Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a crucial topic for .NET developers, implementing a global exception handler in Web API 2. One of our viewers has reached out with a specific question about their implementation. They followed Microsoft's guidelines, but found that their exception handler wasn't functioning as expected. Let's dive into their code and explore how to effectively manage exceptions in your Web API. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To implement a global exception handler in .NET Web API 2, we first need to create a class that inherits from exception handler. In this class, we will override the handle method. This method will be triggered whenever an unhandled exception occurs. Inside the handle method, we can log the exception and set a custom response message. This is where we can inform the user that something went wrong. Next, we need to create a private class that implements IHT action result. This class will define how the response is constructed. Finally, register the global exception handler in the Web API configuration. This ensures that our handler is used for all unhandled exceptions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To implement global exception handling in Web API 2, you need to modify your Web API config. First, replace the existing exception handler with your custom handler. Then add your custom exception logger to the configuration. Remember, only one exception handler is supported at a time. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To implement global exception handling in Web API 2, you can create a class called Global Exception Handler that inherits from Exception Handler. Override the should handle method to always return true, ensuring that all exceptions are handled. For more details, you can check the Stack Overflow link provided which discusses issues related to the exception handler not being called in Web API 2. And that's it, guys. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.